Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we are looking at the Echo DCS 5000 once again. And what we're gonna do today is actually run a fully charged battery from full to dead and see how much time that actually takes. I'm gonna actually start a timer whenever I start using the saw and at least get some sort of an idea of how many minutes this thing actually runs. And maybe at the end of the video, I'll go back and try to count how many cuts it actually makes also. That's kind of hard to do because there's a lot of tree branches and stuff like this that are only a couple inches and it'll cut hundreds of those. But then when you add in the full size pieces that are more like firewood, the six, eight, 10 inch pieces, and then all the way down to the trunk of the tree, this thing's actually probably pretty close to 15, 16 inches back here at the base of the tree. So what we have here is a standing dead locust tree or was standing dead. I actually pushed it over at the beginning of fall. The last video, we just kind of took a look at it and tested it out a little bit. So today we've got a full charge. We're gonna start the timer right here in just a second. And I'm gonna work through this entire tree and not stop and just see how far we can get. So like I was saying, we are at full charge on the battery. It just came off the charger. So we're ready to go. I'm starting the timer right now and I'm gonna work through without stopping as much as I can. So I gotta clean some of this debris out of the way. So I'm gonna stop the stopwatch while I'm doing this and then I'll start it back up whenever I start using the saw again. So if you all have never messed with a locust tree before, this is a black locust and this thing has thorns all over it. And if you don't have a pair of gloves on, they will wear you out. But you are not missing out on anything if you haven't, uh, haven't worked with a locust tree. On the other hand, a black locust, I guess, makes extremely good firewood and really good fence posts if it's a good solid tree. This one actually was already rotting out and there's a lot of rot up here in the upper end of it. I'm hoping when we get down here to the, to the trunk of it that it's got enough good wood in it to make some good firewood because this stuff burns really hot and it lasts a long time. The smaller branches that sprout out new are the worst. The big part of the tree it isn't too bad, it's like that kind of stuff goes away, but whenever you have a new branch sprout out and they're just covered up with these thorns. I'm starting the timer back right now. I'll go ahead and stop the timer again while I'm clearing this stuff out of the way. So 
So I got most everything cut out of the way. So I went down to about as small as I want to go with all this. So I'm going to get my Mingo marker out and I'm going to go ahead and mark everything out. And then I'm just going to start cutting it all up into pieces. It'd be really cool to get this whole tree on one battery. The battery is actually still showing four bars on it. But once you start getting up into these bigger sections, it's going to start getting a lot harder to cut. So I'm gonna start the timer back up and I'll just start working my way back up towards the trunk and we'll see how far we can get.
believe that's it right there. Three and a half cuts and I could have cut the whole tree up. So that's gonna wrap it up for our Echo DCS 5000 battery chainsaw. It actually ran for right at 28 minutes and it was actually 2748. And then after it sat for a second, the battery kind of, you know, got a little bit of charge back to it and I was able to cut a few more inches in this log. Uh, you know, so I, I'd call it right at 28 minutes, which is actually pretty good. You know, it's a five amp hour battery and I've actually been out here working for about 45 minutes. And as you can see back here behind me, that's actually quite a lot of production. There's a whole bunch of pieces of firewood here. This is a not a baby size tree, but it's not a great big tree either. It had a lot of good eight inch, 10 inch pieces of firewood all the way down to about six inches. So I went ahead and got all the mess cleaned up and that way I could kind of count the firewood pieces as I was loading them up in the trailer. And speaking of that, this Polar Mesh tandem axle trailer over here is actually really cool. That thing works out perfect for pulling behind the razor. And I got this because, you know, using the tractor, I could have brought the tractor down here and got this, but right now it's winter time, the ground is soft and that tractor leaves big ruts and I can make several trips with this and you'll still never see the tracks from it. I really am so glad that I ended up purchasing this. This thing has been great for running these little runs of firewood. And, uh, you know, I got two full trailer loads out of it. And that's a pretty good pile of firewood. I actually ended up getting 77 pieces of usable firewood, plus all the tree limbs that I cut off of it. And it's on one charge, one battery. A bunch of this is going to be fast forward, edited, and all that kind of stuff. On a previous video I did with a battery saw, uh, I had some comments saying that, you know, I edited the video and I could have uh, charged the battery in between times. That is not the case. I'm not sponsored by Echo. I bought this with my own money. That's as fair as you can get. This is my opinion with me buying it with my own money and, you know, trying to just share the information. So stay tuned to the channel because I am gonna have some comparisons. I'm gonna compare this 56 volt to the old version of Echo's uh, battery chainsaw, their 58 volt series that they did. So I'll put a, do a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison to see if maybe if you've got the 58, maybe it's worth going ahead and upgrading to the 56 or whether it is, you know, good, just keep your old one. Also, I do want to compare some gas saws to this, not only the cut speed, just the weights and the specifications, because this saw actually weighs 14.6 pounds, which seems a little bit heavy, but man, it feels solid. You know, it, it, it really feels like a professional, grade of tool and this isn't even in their x series of tools i've used some of their other products or string trimmers that are also not in the x series but this year for 2022 in this 56 volt series of saw these things they're actually going to be doing some string trimmers in that x series or their professional series of equipment so i'm really looking forward to getting those and trying those out so it's starting to get dark on me i'm going to finish loading up my trailer get everything cleaned up here. If you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful, I appreciate you hit that thumbs up button. Share this video with anybody you know. Also, while you're at it, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon so you get notifications whenever we upload new videos, and we'll see you on the next one.